talk about, but it's something I've never really seen people YouTube about. Um, could people have YouTube about this? Yes, yes they could have, but I've never seen a video on this, and I think this does need to be talked about. So this is a weird topic, but this is important to think about this as a hamster owner. Why won't your hamster stop using the restroom? Pooing. Yeah, I know, it's very odd to talk about that, and I could see why you might be a little weirded out. But this is something very, like I said, important to talk about. So let's get to the two reasons why your hamster stop won't stop using the restroom. Okay, so the most known reason why your hamster won't stop using the restroom is because diarrhea. Your hamster may have ate too much watery things. How to avoid this is to not feed too much, um, too many grapes. Um, if you're feeding grapes, maybe cut them in half. Um, cause if your hamster gets diarrhea, they're gonna need to go to the vet immediately. And, um, I'm not a vet, so I'm not the best at explaining this, but they're gonna need to go to the vet immediately. Don't feed too much, um, tomatoes. Um, don't feed just, um, too much of anything watery. That's how you avoid it. And you might be thinking, well, um, well, my hamster can have water, but she can't have watery fruits. Why is that? Well, that is because um, of the fact that your hamster isn't going to be drinking, like, the whole bowl of water probably at once. Or, like, a whole bottle full of water. Um, but when it comes to fruit, hamsters like to eat, you know, and they're going to probably eat the whole, the whole shebang. And... <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're, they're probably going to eat the whole thing. And then they're getting a lot of water into their systems more than they'd get probably than just drinking. So don't ever feed too much of a watery fruit or vegetable. Okay, for the um, second reason that I know of that your hamster won't stop using the restroom is because they're scared. Now, the best way to avoid your hamster just pooping a lot is, you know, to get have them in a calm environment, not stress them out. I noticed the other day, I really stressed Daisy out, and I tried my best to reduce stress, but I was cleaning her cage out, and I took half her bedding out, only half, and then she smelled awful, like pea and peanut butter. Not a good combination. You know, not at all. And so, uh, I didn't bathe her in water, but I had to take her out, put her in her travel cage, get a Q-tip, put some water on it, and brush it down her back. She got really bad at me. She even tried to nip at me. I knew she was scared, but there really wasn't much I could do. Hamsters are gentle animals, and they might not understand that you're trying to help them. So, just try and keep them calm. Sometimes, there's not much you can do about them being stressed. Just... Avoid stress by lifting them up and like stuff like that. But yeah, hamsters are scared poopers. I guess that's where the saying comes from. I was scared of crapless. And yeah, because um, hamsters are scared poopers. And other animals like guinea pigs, I believe, are scared poopers too. They will poo a lot more when they're scared. So, yeah. Pretty gross, but if you can't deal with this, please do not get a hamster. Also, um, when it comes to owning a hamster, they're gonna use the restroom a lot, and you can't really avoid that. But if your hamster is like using the restroom every second, then that's something to be concerned about, and yeah. Um, and when it comes, I forgot to say this, but when it comes to, um, diarrhea, it's not to be gross, but it will be diarrhea, it'll be more watery, so, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I'm sorry this would be so gross, like, but this is something you need to think about before owning a hamster, before owning any pet, you need to do your research in all that area. Thank you for watching, bye guys!